Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And this was an unexpected video tonight. Well, it wasn't unexpected. It was completely expected. We just didn't expect it to happen tonight. Right, so, right. So, wasn't on the docket for today, but so many people wrote us and told us. So, guess what? You're right. Guess what? Crunchyroll got sold. They're sold. They got sold to Funimation, to Sony. Just like we said was going to happen and yep. just like everybody told us we were full of it. We didn't know what we were talking about. Uh, we were crazy. Everybody you can see tagging us in. <laughs> like, what does Clownfish TV know? The broken clock's still right twice a day, he, 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 except we're right most of the time. Yeah. I don't care if that sounds arrogant because we were right. We were right often. We're going to talk about uh, we're going to talk about the Crunchyroll sale. We're going to talk about the fact that we we've, we've been talking about this for at least a year. Uh, and again, everybody told us we're crazy, but we had some insiders over at Warner that said, no, they're they're going to get rid of it one way or another. Mm -hmm. uh, either it's going to get rolled into HBO Max or it's going to get gone. We thought it was weird and they, they confirmed it long time ago. Long time ago. So anyway, before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants and sometimes predictions that, that come true mm -hmm. occasionally. More, more times than not. Uh, and also check out Geeky's Toy Drive. She's got a couple of days left on this. Uh, she's buying toys for underprivileged children. And uh, she's buying some good stuff like Nerf, American Girl dolls. and Yeah, and, and, and I mean, we were only going to do it at the store until the 10th. However, uh, because uh, we talked to them and mm -hmm. we found out that we're like, why is there so many kids this year? And apparently the other organization that usually handles the kids pulled out of the area and didn't let anybody know. So then uh, Salvation Army got dumped with two times the kids and they already were overloaded before that because of some people in need because of 2020. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to do what we can. Um, again, if you can't help, that's completely fine. Maybe you could do something in your own area. If you'd rather do something in your own area, that is fine as well. Just if you, if you can help, help. But we did add a bunch more stuff. Yeah, so for those of you who don't know if this is your first video in the last couple days, uh, Geeky is donating all the proceeds from her Etsy shop, and I will put a link to that in the comments. I'll pin it. Uh, all the proceeds from her Etsy shop to buy toys, for kids now, there is some convention stuff in here. Yeah, uh, we used to do conventions. These are actually Geeky's handmade pillows. Yeah, and the Mama Sparkles gave me a bunch of pouches to put up. Mm -hmm. Those are all handmade by Mama Sparkles. So there's all kinds of stuff you have to look around. We're adding new stuff. Uh, there are a couple pages. Yeah, and, we, I um, just have a whole bunch to add too that we that we just took pictures of. So yeah, so there we go, guys. Check that out again, pinned in the comment section. Let's talk about this. Crunchyroll put out a tweet that sounds like, I, for one, welcome our insect overlords. It does. Uh, it kind of does. We are excited to join our peers at Sony and Funimation. There are many questions we can't answer yet, but we're excited. Twice. That's two excited in one tweet. We're excited by the prospect of this combination. Yeah, we. Remember when Crunchyroll and Funimation parted ways? Mm -hmm. uh, it was a very acrimonious split. Mm -hmm. uh, Funimation's like, uh, we don't need you, Crunchyroll. Goodbye. And they went and started their own streaming service. And then they just kind of took the long way around and came back and said, yeah, and now, we're gonna, now we're going to buy you. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to buy you now. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so, yeah. Do I think Crunchyroll is excited? Hell no. No, you should not be excited, Crunchyroll, because we know exactly what AT&T is doing. Right now, they're gutting these companies. Mm -hmm. uh, you were not pulling your weight or the money was too good to turn down because they don't really care about anime, uh, you know, but they're they're cutting dead weight and you are dead weight. You were dead weight before the pandemic. Um, hey, wait a minute. Change the subject. Go back there. I got to tell the kids, iCarly Revival. How can you do iCarly Revival? I... I... Also, uh, Squicking was right. Nicolas Cage is hosting a History of Swear Word series. Oh, uh, that's cool. What if they combine was, those I two? Was, oh, that would be funny. But why do they need to... Bring, it, it, we're going to uh, revive iCarly with the original cast members returning. So is, they're going to be iCarly as adults? Or are they going to have all new kids? And if that's the case, screw it. Anyway, continue. That's why Dan Schneider's trending. I thought it was something to do with feet picks. We didn't it's, know. Okay. It's just so, iCarly. Sorry, I was distracted, guys. I'm very tired. So right now it's like, oh, shiny. And then I take off another direction. So yeah, this was uh, this was in the works before. Mm -hmm. Before the pandemic. Because I know what's going to happen. People are going to make excuses. And they're going to be like, oh my God, the pandemic made Crunchyroll and Funimation merge. No. It's all because of the pandemic. No. 
has nothing to do with the pandemic. They were going to sell your ass before uh, you were not worth it. And uh, again, not to do a victory lap here, but um, we had several videos. Yep. Oh, but you're stupid. You don't know what you're talking about. You're clowns. I love that. Clown bitch is because you're a bunch of clowns. You, you think, you know... Come on, be a little more creative than that. Yeah, so going back to last year, and I could go back to almost two years ago when mm -hmm. we had a Warner Insider come to us and say something is going to happen with Crunchyroll and probably Rooster Teeth too because neither one of those companies fit with their uh, long-term vision for where Warner needs to be, and they, they are redundancies. You know, they mm -hmm. already have Cartoon Network and, and all of that. So, and they're all, all these companies are just, you know, trimming down as much as they can. Uh this is interesting, though, because I want to talk about Yes, The Office. Yeah, so this was uh, almost a year ago. Shh, don't tell Rooster Teeth. Crunchyroll gets posh office upgrade as Warner Media layoffs continue. And that was the office with like the like the little seating sitting area and it was like a cafe. Yeah, look at this place. Yeah. This is San Francisco. This is oh yeah, I forgot the bikes. God forgot knows it. how many hundreds of thousands of dollars a month for their own little and private a dog statue. Yeah, look at the oh yeah, I forgot about the, yeah, the, the sacred sheet. Yeah. I mean, this is crazy posh, and I know the building. I actually scoped out the building, and the rents are not cheap. Oh, they're probably cheaper now during the pandemic. Right, but I'm just like you know, Crunchyroll sure didn't have that many subs. No. I mean, I had a lot, but I'm just like, you know, not to warrant that kind of office. So that was that was a big uh, issue because people were like, again, they were giving Crunchyroll money thinking they were helping Japan. But then they got this nice little office, their little bike racks and their soy lattes. and That's going to end uh, probably pretty soon. Yep. Now it gets even more interesting. Yeah. Now I had a, a friend of mine, an insider remind me, uh, said, hey, did you see that it's official now, the Crunchyroll thing? You guys should say something because you actually broke it to the mainstream and mm -hmm. everybody called you names. And they yep. did. They did for months, called us names, mm -hmm. said we we're full of shit, uh, even though we got the information from a legit source. Um, they're building a new compound for Funimation in Texas. Mm -hmm. And they're merging Crunchyroll with Funimation. Do you think they're going to keep those San Francisco offices for much longer? Probably not. No, I do not think they're going to. So uh, you're not going to have your bike rack. Well, maybe they'll put a bike rack in the new Funimation office. But you might not be making the trip, uh, Crunchyroll, because um, they don't need everybody. This is no. the thing. They've got redundancies. They've got two anime streaming services, and there's a lot of job overlap. And um, this is why I think uh, Joanne Wag was a Joanne Wag uh, wage, whatever her name is, the general manager kept putting these articles out there like, look at all the value that Crunchyroll has. Oh, I kept taking from her articles is we're telling the Japanese what they're what how to make their anime to, to, for the, our audiences we want. But I did before you get to that, I want to point out that after how many years of Crunchyroll, they still only have three million subscribers. Yeah, that's not good. HBO Max already has 12, and it's considered to be kind of a dud mm -hmm. compared to Disney Plus and even Peacock. Peacock has like 22. I mean, they have 90 million registered users, but they only have 3 million subs. 3 million paying users. Because right. a lot of the audience that they're courting, they're used to pirating stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, or they buy it on DVD or whatever. And they're probably, I mean, I don't know if they're increasing or decreasing in subs but you know a lot of people aren't real happy with Crunchyroll mm -hmm. these days the originals especially because they're like guys took money it's supposed to go to Japan and you're giving us X-Arm you're giving us High Guardian Spice well now we good luck with High Guardian Spice I don't expect it to ever materialize at this point. Who the hell knows? Um, so anyway. You say that, then watch the show up next Yeah, week. watch it. And people be like, you lied, clownfish. Yeah. We found one Clowns. thing you said wrong. I think it probably, I don't know. I, they put all the money in it and it's supposed to be wrapped up. I can't think they wouldn't use it, but you know. Who knows? But I, I love it. They're like, we're we're all friends. We're all friends here, guys. We're all friends. Uh, the news is out, everybody. Even though we denied it. There were people from Crunchyroll denying that this was going to happen just like a month ago. Yeah, we come on. I mean, we knew, we already knew people that had ends at these places that yeah, yeah, it was most definitely going through. They're just waiting for the ink to dry, guys. That's it. Crunchyroll will be acquired by Sony's Funimation Global Group. Pending regulatory approvals and closing, you can find more official information on the press release here. It's an exciting time for anime as two brands you know and love look to unite. They're going to get together like hentai. You know, no, they unite after they, you know, did, yeah, but no, they did, they did, you know, Funimation left because of the way they got rid of them because of the way they were behaving. And then they turned around and came back and bought them. I would totally do that. I know you would. You if, totally would. If somebody fucked me over and kicked me out of 
say a oh, website you know, that we started? Yeah, one that we, we did, you know. You know, and and, we have it writing that we're supposed to get first dibs on uh, purchasing that if we wanted to. Right. And, it's and kind it, of worthless now. But. It is. It is. Well, you know, uh, Crunchyroll probably was devalued after Funimation took their ball and, and went elsewhere. So, you know, just saying, if somebody kicked me out of something that I built up and uh, had a vested interest in and I had the opportunity to swing back around and buy them cheap and fire everybody that works there, I would do it. Yeah. yeah. I absolutely would do it. And I would have a smile on my face as I passed out those pink slips. Mm -hmm. Be like, I'm your boss now, bitch. Well, the one person I wanted to fire is already gone. So yeah, they're, they're already gone. That's okay. There are I other. I would have fired her though. There are other bitches that could be fired, um, and I would I would be very happy to to facilitate the termination. The, the termination yeah. of the bitches. Anyway, our teams <laughs> and brands have been dedicated to anime and its fans for decades. We've got all the convention badges to prove it. Today's just the beginning, everybody. Okay. Here's their general manager. I love this. We're excited to embark on this new they journey. We're excited a lot. We're so excited. We can't wait to lose our jobs. Oh my God, what am I gonna do? Holy shit, it actually happened. Oh my God, Clownfish TV was right. Those motherfuckers. Okay, or bitches, because that's your term for today. Crunchyroll has built a world-class brand. We're passionate the fan base of over 3 million subs, 50 million social followers, 90 million registered users. <sighs> She's packing her box. Uh, These amazing fans have helped to propel anime into a global phenomenon, she said. Combine the strength of the Crunchyroll brand and the expertise, expertise of the global team with Funimation. Oh, it's an exciting prospect. Funimation global team. You mean Crunchyroll's been going around telling Japan to change everything about their anime yes. to appeal to them. Funimation... Not as much. And, and you know, and now... I'm just... I'm, yeah. Yeah. You know what, guys? I, I have this feeling that Sony, um, which owns the company that does stuff like Demon Slayer, isn't going to be real thrilled with you spending money on stuff like X-Arm and High Guardian Spice. Probably I just not. got a feeling about that. But, but then again, Sony likes to censor, too. So who the hell yeah, knows? Yeah, I know. It was, it, it's a, I was going to say, it's up in the air on that one. I love this. We know you may have questions about the news, and we apologize that we can't answer everything because we don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, my God. It actually happened. Until the deal closes, Crunchyroll and Funimation will continue to operate independently. Regardless of the big news, we're still the same crunchy role we were yesterday and we'll continue to bring you more anime until two months from now when they decide to consolidate and move everybody to Texas and fire everybody at Crunchyroll. Well, I yeah. want to fire everyone. Uh, the people not pulling their own weight. So, uh, yeah, it sold for $1.175 in cash. So that's probably their Demon Slayer money. But at least it wasn't like, you know, we saw the other thing with BuzzFeed and... And what did they buy? Oh, a stock deal. The stock deal. It was a deal. stock deal. The Huffington yeah. Post, is that what it was? The Huffington Post was yeah. so worthless, it was a stock deal. Uh, so this is what Warner Brothers said. Uh, Warner said, uh, Crunchyroll's success is a direct result of the company's culture and commitment to their fans. By combining with Funimation, they will continue to nurture a global community and bring more anime to more people. And thank God, we don't have to deal with it. Mm -hmm. Get out of here, Crunchyroll. Uh, you're worthless to us. Well, it went for less than they, they wanted 1.5 billion, I think. Now, it went for more than I thought it was going to. I was hearing it could go as low as like 600 million. Mm -hmm. But they're just paid cash. They're like, yeah, we had Demon Slayer. Yeah, we're going to do we're going to do Shield Hero movies and it's going to make a lot of money. There uh, you yeah, go. Yeah, I do a Shield Hero movie for there sure. There you go. Um, yeah, so it's uh, but then the downside to this, of course, is that now Sony basically owns the anime industry in the West. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's all consolidation. I mean, we saw it happen before with like ADV and Genion, although they just kind of disappeared one by one by one, and Funimation was like the last one standing. And now they're buying up Crunchyroll too, and it's like, you know. But Every time you say Funimation, like I hear the, the thing in my head, and then it's like, you should be watching. Do you remember those? You're back. You know, yeah. you know it's like, yeah. it's like you keep hearing Funimation. You should um, be watching. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, and again, we're not. Look, I, I'm not happy about anybody losing their jobs except for the people who make horrible decisions. Um, but there are, you know, a lot of redundancies. People are going to get their jobs gone. And God, we took so much abuse over this. We take a lot of abuse of a lot of things and then we end up being right. This one, though, holy shit. We had so many people telling us we didn't know what we're talking about. 
Uh, there's some rooster teeth. Like, we got yeah, lots of messages, about. too, like hate messages and yeah. stuff. You're a clown. Clown shoes. You ever hear that joke before? I bet you never did. You, I'm you, so clever. You wear clown shoes. Yeah, so anyway, uh, there it is, guys. Uh, you know, welcome welcome our new uh, overlords. Uh, they don't know what to do. All we hear is that they're all very, very excited. Mm -hmm. We're excited about the exciting prospects of joining an exciting company like Funimation. And I'm excited to keep working for you, right? Right, Funimation? Yeah, let's move to Texas. I want to go to Texas. I bought a hat and everything. All right, so we're going to wrap it up. Yep. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye.